Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop with uh, part two and update <coughs> of the uh, replacing an old two and a half ton split system. So in the first part I showed you guys where I started, what I had done uh, up to that point and um, since the last time I've um, went ahead and extended the drain line. You can see I got a couple of right there raised it up because eventually when this gets grassed over uh, you know, it's only going to be like three or four inches above the grass and hopefully the uh, the lawn guy won't mess it up but um, also for right now I left the top uh, not glued in so that it's easier to uh, remove and then if you need to put a, like a shop vac to suck out the water uh, during uh, maintenance time which is twice a year uh, you can do so. You just pop it out, put your little fitting on there, and put your shop vac. And uh, I think it's easier because I think you know, with with the uh, 90 290s like that, it's kind of hard. You got to bring your own, I guess, nipple and fitting. And this way, it's just easy. You can come in from the top. But anyway, so uh, you guys saw that I already did the pad for the condenser. Uh, I still have the old whip on there, but I'm I bought a brand new one. Hopefully, it's going to be long enough. It's a six foot. It's already pre-wired and everything comes with the exact fittings. It's a half inch whip. And it's only got to go from there down and to about this corner. Uh, either this side or that side. Probably going to try to go for this side right here because this will be easier for the technician to work on. Because they say that you're supposed to leave about two feet from the house to, uh, to the pad. But um, I, like I said, I can bring my line set over here to this side if I have to this is a 3 by 3 pad and I think the condenser is going to be smaller than that so if I need to shift the condenser over that way to make the line set work uh, that's going to work as well uh, so you can see um, last time I hadn't run the line set yet so I already ran the, the line set 3 quarter and 3 eighths and my control wire and you can see I got them um, zip tied every so many feet um, I made my transition up there at the 90 and the 3 8 is easy to bend but the 3 quarter I don't have the right tool and I try to go around looking for it nobody has it I ordered it but I ended up making my own spring um, bender and that seemed to work out okay so I got a nice transition over there um, I'll bring you guys up there just to show you what I did to kind of make sure that this stays working uh, good so underneath here on the installation I have a ins it, not a piece of insulation which is behind this wall underneath it and then over here for the 3 8 line I have a piece of carpet that's protecting it so this won't rub up against this uh, stucco over here and yeah because of the insulation there it's gonna help both of them so as you can see and then to protect those guys we have this cover this galvanized uh, cover which at the very top I'm gonna cut on like on a 45 and then that's gonna be at the very top and then of course bend it over with uh, some uh, sheet metal self tappers and then at the very top it gets um, foamed and sealed foamed and sealed in other words and then at the very bottom because this is only eight feet so uh, I can't hold it and show you guys. Well, I guess I could. But so this is going to go more or less all the way up like that, and it's going to leave. Sorry about that fast transition. It's going to leave about a foot and a half at the bottom, which is good because that allows for the bends of the line set, depending um, where I'm going to put the uh, condenser, which way where the service valves come out. So yeah. Like I said, I ordered uh, the, uh, it's like a, no, it's not hydraulic, it's a spring-loaded one. It goes from quarter inch all the way to seven-eighths, the kit, the uh, bender. So I'll get, I should get it because I will, today's Saturday, so I'll come, be coming back next Saturday um, to do that. So hopefully I'm tying all, doing all the rough in today, and then all I'm going to have left uh, next Saturday is connecting everything. This is my, um, what do you call it, control control wiring um, this is a little setup that I did 
piece of half inch conduit, drilled it right through the top of the bucket. So when you're pulling it off of here, you know, it spins freely like that. And then and it doesn't go anywhere. And then this doesn't like get all, you know, messed up on you and everything. But anyway, so, yep. And then these are capped. It's to keep moisture out and also like debris and crap so that when it comes time for to hook it up and braise it and everything, you don't have extra crap in the lines. Uh, what I may do is just probably go ahead and take some nitrogen, just blow it through, uncap those, and then, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, and I'll show you guys inside too when I get in there. Uncap the inside and then uh, blow it through just to make sure if there's any debris, it's going to come out before I, you know, decide to go ahead and uh, run nitrogen and then start brazing. So let me take you guys inside right now and then I'll show you what I'm doing in there. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys up top, show you what I've done there, and explain what I've done up so far. And hopefully, uh, the lighting will be good enough to see. Let's hope so. All right. So, you see, um, that's, I know that the insulation on the wall has a freaking reflection. Okay, let's try this. All right, that's not too bad. All right, so that's where I'm ca I came in, and you can see that. The line set comes on a nice, uh, easy uh, curve. Oh, okay. Let's see, I'm turning around on the ladder here, and and it goes all the way to right there, where it's going down into the uh, new. Matter of fact, let's see if I can. Nope. Oh, right. So right there in the center of the light. Uh, is where it goes down into the new uh, uh, plenum area, okay? So that right there, what you guys are seeing right there, that's the old plenum, and right next to, to that is the new plenum that I made. And then right in between is about a foot of um, duck. And basically all I used is a 12-inch flange to connect the 12-inch uh, uh, duck. So... And then I'll show you in the bottom what I did to the old plenum uh, right there. So also you can see that I secured the, um, the line set over here being the highest point. And then all the way back this way to the outside and down to the condenser, it's got a, uh, a pitch. And what that's going to do is actually help... Um, with the return of some of the oil back to the compressor uh, that gets carried in, um, what do you call it? Away from the compressor, and then it goes back in the vapor. Um, so, and then also I, you see it's, it's on hangers right there. It's a two inch, two inch, yeah, I think two inch, uh, two and a half inch hangers. I bent them out to become just like a little, uh, you know, something to, like a carrier. Okay, uh, let's see. Oop. There we go, um, right there. And then I made sure to keep the uh, liquid line, the copper, away from that this metal because they're dissimilar metals. And over time, they could possibly, if they rub on each other, they can create um, a reaction. So I made sure that all the way down the line set, at, at every clamp, the uh, liquid line is away from it, all the way down. And of course, I'm going to come back and cut off those little zip ties, as you can see. And then at at the uh, insulation joints, um, I taped them up. Um, let's see if we can see, uh, right there. See, I taped up the uh, joints. And up here, the only thing I'm gonna do left, I have to do left, is um, when I'm all said and done, come back with the uh, foam and then just kind of fill in all the spots, lay down the insulation back again on the ceiling after sealing it first around the the line set around the um what do you call it i'm trying to focus because of the lighting in here all right um and then like i said and around the plenum so let's go um downstairs and i'll show you what i've done there okay so this was the original um air handler closet right here so now this is going to be coming out a linen closet for the bathroom okay and this is the old drain line. This is where everything came from outside. And as you can see, um, I extended it. 
I had the, uh, the, the guy that's doing all the construction here, uh, you know, break that up so I can run that pipe uh, to the other side. And the reason that little board is there, that's just to check to make sure that it's, uh, the pipe is below the surface. Uh, this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill in, this uh, four inch PVC, uh, I'm going to fill it in first before he pours uh, concrete over there. And also, this is where the old plenum uh, let's see if I can get okay. That's where the old plenum uh, I cut it off uh, in the attic, and then I capped it off right there, sealed it all up with, uh, with that foil tape, and put a piece of two by four there to help secure that, and then also to give the guy a place to um, put in the sheetrock and put it come in and you know put a piece of sheetrock right there and screw right into that, and then finish it off. Okay. Now let's move to the other side. All right, so here, you can see that I've, right there, I've tied in the new plenum right there, and it's sealed and taped um, at the bottom, okay? And you can see this is where my uh, line set comes in. Let's see. Yeah, that's where my line set comes in, and then the disconnect is right there, my control, from the thermostat is this one right here and I just got to run a little piece of um, the half inch whip from there to this corner and then this corner is where my control enters right over here here's the uh, rubber plugs there's one that goes up here that one is for over here for the uh, for the line right there and I also like I said I've roughed in my uh, line sets and you can see I got insulation all the way up, all the way down to here. This is the one coming from the condenser right there. And these are already um, fitted, but I taped them off to keep all the dust from, you know, coming, getting in my joint, you know. And this is where I'm going to disconnect it when I need to blow the line uh, on both of them. And then reconnect them and then go outside um, run my nitrogen before I start brazing. Uh, and right now, um, I have everything closed because all that dust, I'm going to have to clean it the inside anyway when I'm set, when it's in done. And then over here is where my drain is going to come in, right there. It's going to transition. I'm probably going to put another 45 there to send it up. And then right here is going to be the, the main drain with a T as a, as a clean out. Right there, and then right here, this other spot is going to be for the, uh, the um, what do you call it, the cutoff float switch right there. And, of course, you know, right here, this is going to be the filter return. And then I still have to also cut some um, duckboard uh, and put it up against this side, the back, and this side right here. And then close off that hole right there, insulate the whole thing. And then... Uh, Cut a hole right here, send my drain down, and I got a trap for it uh, also, a P-trap. That's going to go right there. And then that should do it. So the third part should be the finishing part of tying everything in and, yeah, hooking up the thermostat, which is right over here, opposite, uh, opposite wall, uh, from there to here. So... And eventually, I'm probably going to have to come back and redo all the the, um, the doghouse. Not the doghouse. What the hell do they call that? Where the register connects. So, like that one over there. They're all freaking going, um, messing up. In other words, let me see if I can show you one of them. Which one that's bad? Let me see. Yeah, you see how they're blowing out right there? And it's starting to get crunched right there, so... <clears throat> so those those boxes right there, I'm gonna have to come back and replace them, put new registers on there. But yeah, this place is a mess. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. This is the first time uh, for me doing a change out like this, so you know it's taking me a little bit longer. And of course, I started a new job on Monday, so I can only come on Saturdays now. But yep. Um, don't forget to uh, hit the bell notification so you get notified when I upload new videos. All right. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.